prima cosa ti do un po' di acqua. Perché? Perché? Perché ogni volta che mangi qualcosa devi bere un po' di acqua per pulire la bocca. Like, this is a dirty glass. Well, How did you get it? Okay. Um, you have powder on your face. I don't care. You smell the same, like, like McDonald's. You don't smell like McDonald's. Okay. Cioè, nel senso, li mangerei lo stesso, non frega un cazzo, però... Non ne vedo il motivo. Enrico, that was on the floor. Non so frega. Hey, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, there's Enrico. Yep, again. Do you have anything else to say? <laughs> no. Everybody says I never let him talk, so... Well, I don't really want to talk, so it's fine. Today we are going to be trying American foods because that's the only way that I was able to get Enrico to come back on YouTube. So this time we have a lot of sweet snacks because last time they were more salty. Now let's start with the salty one and then do the sweet. So there's only one salty one this time. Fresh from America, squished from my suitcase, we have... Goldfish. Yeah. Wasn't, goldfish. wasn't really excited to try this because the last time I tried cheddar crackers, I didn't like them. So that's another reason I wanted to start with this. Yeah. Pepperidge Farm, they make a lot of like cookies and baked goods that are really famous in America. So yeah. they look, these ones look like this little fish made of cheddar cheese. All right. Hmm. I taste like a cracker. Okay, Maybe you now need I like two more. Maybe you need a You can taste more. a little bit of no, of cheese after, but yeah, I mean, no, it's fine. <laughs> but I mean, it's not it's not that good in my opinion. I I remember like we were trying uh, another another brand when we were in mm, USA. Cheese it's. Yeah, probably. Well, it had a, a, a different taste, like it was stronger. Yeah, well, yeah, this one is more light. I thought you'd like it. Okay. Ah, stop staring at me. <laughs> Not only did I bring Enrico Twizzlers, because I think in my last snack video we talked about Twizzlers, but these are the licorice Twizzlers. Yes. Augusto di Licorizza Americana. Oh, we opened it. Yeah, we opened it wrong. Yeah. Licorice naturally and artificially flavored product of the USA. The the package is open, so we already ate this. Okay. So yes, like, Sophia, we, so you you didn't have to tell them. Well, you can see it. Anyways, it's licorice, so I don't. Do you really like it? it? Mm. Well. Anyways, well, it's licorice. It's different because usually, for example, if you buy Haribo, which is not Italian, an Italian brand, but still. But if we buy Arabo, uh, the licorice, like, it, it, it comes in big pieces. This is like, uh, how do you call this? Well, anyways, it's a, it's a thing, and there's a, there's a hole in the middle. And I feel like this hole is, me is meant for the Twizzlers to be, like, uh, easier to chew. Or that's what I think. That's such an engineer well, thing to anyways, think. Anyways, anyways, uh, I, I actually like the big pieces. I like to chew and stuff, uh, licorice. But the taste is the same to you? Uh, it's kind of the same. I feel I, like these ones... Sorry, I interrupted. Yeah, as always. <laughs> okay, the, the taste is kind of the same because it's still licorice, but I feel when you eat the... I want to compare it with the Haribos. The Haribos, you feel the taste a little bit more in the Haribos. But maybe, but again, it might be because the piece of licorice is bigger and you feel it from... I, I really don't know. Anyways, I prefer Haribos, but it's fine. It's not, it's not bad. I found that these are closer to the European licorice. Um, the real American licorice would be like Jelly Belly Jelly Beans, the black ones. That's what I feel like is real licorice. This has a strange taste that isn't as bad as the Italian ones, the Haribo ones, whatever. For you, it's bad. <laughs> but it's not mm, so bad. But anyways. I remember like when we first tried the Twizzlers, it was cherry flavored. Tia loved it, but I really like, it didn't even taste like cherry, let's be honest. It didn't taste like anything. This bad. Next we have Mike and Ike's. You yeah. want to drink some water? Oh, good pilot. 
to All right. say? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. So yeah, that's what I. That's what. That's the type of candies that I like. You know, the ones that have more flavors. There's no lemon. Give me. Give me the lemon too. Okay. Yeah. There are like four different flavors here. They have lots of flavors, but yeah. these are the. That, that, there are different type of. Uh, original fruits, but you have tropical. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how uh, how I can show it to the camera. You know, like you see here. Oh yeah, I, I like I like this type of candies. Like I I feel like my old time favorite, maybe American candies are. Uh, Skittles. Skittles, yeah. I like these too, the Mike and Dyke. They're mm. a little bit more, uh, softer than, than Skittles. Yeah. But I like also the, the fact that it put a lot of, dif of different uh, tastes in the candy. And yeah, I'm eating it while I talk. These are good. I like them. Can't say anything else. They are chewy, they're soft, they taste like fruit. In this case, For we real have. Real fruit? Real fruit? No candies taste like real fruit. No, there's this Italian jelly candy that tastes like real food and they're gross. The jelly? How are mm -hmm. they called? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's fruit taste. These are the ch called trolli and actually the name sounds Italian, but it's even sold by Ferre Ferrara Candy Company. Ferrero? No, Ferrara. Okay. It's Ferrara Candy Company in Oak Brook Terrace. Illinois. Yeah. You broke the package. Now we can close it. No, I didn't. That's how you said. Enrico. Kennesai. What? Are you able to? What? I don't know. You're making some faces. <laughs> no, I'm not. Can you open yeah, it? Yeah, right. My liver hurts. I don't know why. Okay, it's not the liver. Wait, we, I remember we ate the sour patch in the other video. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, I think I you liked them. Yeah, I like them because I like sour stuff and also like fruit taste uh, candies. That they're they're my type of candy. What we find as gummy gummy ca candies in Italy are mostly herbal candies, and uh, of course there are even other brands. But let's say Herb was probably the, the 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 most famous one, and it's actually a German company. But, uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know, you're just so funny. <laughs> no, I'm not. They're good. Are they supposed to have any fruit taste? No, they're just gummy candy. You know, sour usual. Bite. Usual stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I don't feel like it's so different by, from. I love anything. how the biggest, the largest ingredient is corn syrup. Well, in every. And then sugar. In every candy in here, like, they use corn syrup. They use corn syrup usually, in everything in America. Usually, I feel like um, in Italy you would, you would find it written uh, sciroppo di glucosio, which is probably like a, a little bit the same thing. It's just uh, maybe corn syrup comes from corn, while sciroppo di glucosio can come from potatoes. I don't know, from anything. Mm. I guess, but anyways, like the the fact that they use corn in in USA is because of the fact that you guys have a lot of corn. And, and the corn in the corn, corn syrup industry has a lot of money to pay the government to keep putting corn syrup in our food. Um, next, Junior Mints. I'm not really a, a real fan of the. Mint plus chocolate thing. Have you tried these before? No, I didn't try that, but but I mean it's mint and chocolate, right? You wanna rinse your mouth? Right. You're right. Okay, you gotta rinse your mouth. Cause they don't want you know the taste to become conflicting. I'm eating snacks. And then we're cheating. Here you go. All right, let's try it. A Wait. ball of mint wrapped in chocolate. Yeah. Man, I used to love these when I was a kid. As I said, I'm not really a fan. Of mint and chocolate, they're not bad, but it's just not my personal taste. Next, we have Reese's peanut butter cup, but I picked the white chocolate version because we already had the cho regular chocolate version. Yeah, Wait, let me well, see if I can find you one that's not broken. You don't like peanut butter? No, I do like peanut butter. I have a, a weird relationship with peanut butter because, like, I like it 
when it's with something, but I don't like it alone. Like eating peanut butter alone, for example, on a sandwich, is a little bit too much for me. Like, uh, it's too heavy. But uh, if you put jelly on it, or uh, in this case, if you White have it inside, chocolate. yeah, if you have it inside a chocolate thing, uh, well, I like it. I like this too. It mostly tastes like peanut butter though. Yeah, you don't feel the chocolate so much. It's just, let's give it a eight. Okay. Why not? I don't know. I mean, I would give it an eight because a nine would be too much, but and a ten would be too much. Enrico, you're said so, you're a man of so many words. Yeah, an eight is a good grade. The last one. Here we go. These are country kitchen powdered donuts. Now I've never actually heard of this brand, but powdered donuts are a thing in America, and so I just wanted to see Enrico's reaction. Then. We're gonna make a mess. I can see that because it's yeah. full of sugar and uh, powdered. I was sugar. looking forward to try this. Oh my god, no! What's up? It's just making a really big mess. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa. My pants are black. Yep, while well, Tia opens the thing, if she can. Oh my god. Well, donuts. <laughs> you know, when it comes to sweets and stuff, I feel like Italy is not like the number one, uh, especially on snacks. But actually, Italians don't really eat snacks so much. It's not a real thing. Uh, Do Italians not eat snacks so much because it's a preference or because your snacks? I feel it's a cultural suck. thing. It's a cultural thing. I remember, like, I, I've been taught to not eat snacks. Like, I remember when, um, when I was eating uh, Kinder Brioche, which is a, a thing mm -hmm. in here. Uh, I remember my grandparents always saying, uh, "Oh, how uh, how better is a." Uh, a prosciutto sandwich instead of that, for example. So like, it's one way to do it. Yeah, that's uh, that's how I grew up, and that's how I feel like how Italians usually grow up, trying to eat healthy. Uh, but anyways, I like snacks. Well, anyways, let's eat these. Oh God! Well, let's eat these donuts. <laughs> keep this right here, cause. Mm. Boy, you devo pulire. Mm. All right, we we all know how donuts are. They're supposed to be soft, and uh, they're they have a, an elastic. Uh, dough and uh, these aren't these aren't elastic they break you pretty easily and they don't look that like it seems that they're not actually good but they're not actually good because they, it, here it's written that it, it's best if used by February 5 2018 and we are on the 11 okay Enrico it's not this big deal it's just a suggestion yeah it is a suggestion it's about, a suggestion it. but you, you Anyways, like, Tia bought it, saw that it was gonna expire by no. the fifth, and then she said, "No, Enrico, you can't eat these until we make the video." So basically, like she waited for them to expire to Enrico, eat them, give, it, here, give them to me. I came here on the four. I don't care. Uh, we could, we could have. I could at least tried them. No, I needed some. I needed authentic reaction. Yeah, right. You could have. Take a video of me while eating it. Oh, ba oh, is well, anyways, is it bad? As I said, like it's uh, it tastes like. Let me taste it, cause I mean. Uh, it's good, but it, the consistency ah! could have been better. You're not even able to eat donuts here. Yeah. But anyway. Mm, yeah, these do taste a little bit stale. Oh my god. That, they break, so that. I think that... these are like the Walmart brand, so they're even like the worst of the worst. Like, no, yeah, cool. so they took it. I told you why. Because they expired? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because of that. They're not bad. You like, you like them. You, you're still eating that. I would, eat, I would eat it anyways. I don't care, but I would eat anything. Mm. Here we are, eating snacks again. Tia made it. Tia made me do it. And Rika wanted to do it. No, all right. This time she tricked me. As I said, like these expired the fifth. She came back the fourth. She didn't let me open like most of these candies and um, she let the donuts expire and uh, yeah, that's how she made she made me do the video as well. Anyways, if I can respond to some some comments in the other vid that, that were in the other video, which I re only remember a repetitive comments that that was being made, it was like, um, oh, poor Enrico, he was it is eating so much so much uh, shit. That's it. Yeah, and uh, I feel bad for you and stuff. Well, I mean, don't feel bad for me because. I, Eating snacks is not so bad, actually. 
if you, if you think about it. And uh, yeah, people re people usually think that just eating a bunch of uh, snacks uh, can hurt your uh, hurt your insides, but I don't think it's like that. I mean, every once in a while you can eat snacks, so you're not gonna die. You just need to some to moderate yourself, I think. And anyways, American snacks, I feel they're better than the Italian ones because there's more choice. Uh, yet, would I want them in, in Italy? Yes, would I buy them so as often as Americans buy the snacks? You don't even no. know how Americans buy snacks. Yes, because when I was in USA <laughs> with Tia, we had snacks every day. Like we, because... It was like a, a normal thing to have no, at home. No, no, no. No, no, no. It was because we were there and I wanted them. I was having cravings after years of withdrawal symptoms. Now you're telling me you guys don't eat snacks. No, not like you guys think we eat snacks. Somebody told me mm. that they think that I drink Coca-Cola every day for lunch. No. Nobody not does everybody that. does that. Not even La Media. No, I'm not saying that the, that the average American does it, but still. This was a mess. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I think we're done with this video. I have so much to clean. Thanks for coming on my video, my channel, Enrico. You're welcome. Coming all the way to the front of the computer from your seat across the room. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hope you guys like this video. Be sure to leave all your comments and your observations on Enrico as you always do in the comments. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.